Okay, uh, Summer Joel, let's take a look at you right here. I like your rhythm there. Good streamline. Let's back it up a few frames. I think right about, let's watch from your left side, or your right side to your left side. And I want you to notice the, the arm that is trying to pull yourself through rotation. Um, you're, you're, you're ripping a little bit too, clo uh, too soon, and it's causing you to slip and your elbow to drop. Although this is on your breathing stroke. All right, I like your breath. You get a good breath, and you get it quick. You bring your head back down. Um, but you're a little over-rotated here. Um, you want to be a little bit flat, but I think the reason for that is your recovery. But I want you to see how you bring your head back in, and watch this arm right here. All right, it's already looking for something to hang on to. All right, and you pull too soon, trying to get the rotation, and you're almost 180 degrees here uh, between the the front arm and the back arm here. All right, so you're pulling way too soon, and and largely due to it's an imbalance issue. And I think we'll see this in the next frame. Not this one. I know you're racing your buddy there, but this one in particular, the side view right here. So uh, let's watch this one really close. Um, there you let, you're getting your breath, you're laying your, your arm out here kind of flat. All right, you're getting your breath early. You've already kind of started the pull. You're pulling yourself through rotation and laying flat. Even though you get a good breath, but I want you to notice something. I mean laying flat with your uh, lead arm uh, out here. All right, all right. I want you to notice your recovery arm. That's, that's what I was talking about earlier, is you're, you're leading with the hand here. And it's way above the surface, and it's causing your over rotation, too. You should have that hand dragging the water, or very close to it. See this, this hand right up here? It's kind of leading uh, first, and not with the elbow. You should be in this position, as your head's coming back down, more something like that. All right, ready to strike in so that this arm here doesn't take off too soon. All right, and let's watch what happens. When you lay it back flat, then the arm, your lead arm takes off, and notice the elbow here drops, and you're slipping. You're actually, you're, you're, you're leading with the, with the upper arm rather than the lower arm, all right, and that's causing you to slip, all right. And I like this view right here. You can kind of see how much you're slipping, all right. So let me draw a line there uh, where your lead arm's at. And let's draw a line, and let's see how far your body moves forward. The, the bottom line is, is your if your arm moves, if your lead arm moves back faster than your body moves forward, that part you're slipping. It's like spinning your wheels in ice. You want to minimize that slip. But let's see how much you actually do slip. So here we go. You're starting to pull right now, all right, and you're starting to enter in kind of flat right there, and you're moving forward here. There, well, it's right about there. So now your arm is back here, all right? And you started out here, all right? That's how far your arm has moved, but your body has only moved this far forward, all right? So you see that that first initial trying to rip through and trying to pull yourself through is, is, is more slipping than not. And I'm going to give you uh, uh, some priorities here. So notice this hand right here. All right, it's towards your hip. All right, let me get a better picture here. It's towards you. Your palm is towards your hip. You want that palm up, all right? And you want that palm up so that you get that full extension back here and see how your elbow is lifting right now? You don't want the elbow lifting. You want the elbow swinging wide and keeping the hand in the water all the way through the recovery until you enter in up here. Let's see if we get a little better. See, so you're even the hand swings up high. You want to be more in this position here that right and I can even see that this arm uh, your lead arm right there is starting to kind of drift up a little bit you want that you want this guy clear this down clear you want it down there anchored down there deep all right so number one priority is um, it's really the, the recovery because you have really good head spine alignment is get those get those hands the elbow wider um, first uh, fo first focal point is to uh, start with palm up palm up to drag in the fingertips forward and this arm stays anchored here until this arm is completely recovered and you wound up those lats and you slice in okay and number three finally is finish forward finish to your target forward don't pull 
back. That's really the biggest thing. Stop pulling and finish forward. All right, I hope that helps a lot, and let me know if you have any questions.